Are you two ready? Breakfast? Really? Did you save me any breakfast? I just save you the best part, the cutie part. All right, I'll take some of that. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Abby. Good morning. Ready to go? Yes, I am. <laughs> Everywhere. Welcome to the Cabot Trail. <laughs> <laughs> we picked up these seatbelt pads. Um, I don't know why people use them because maybe seatbelt hurts their shoulder. Uh, but we actually got them to hold our new radios. So I picked up some of these Midland radios because those Motorola ones that I had before, they just didn't work out very well. And these ones are way clearer. But we got these and we put a little slit in it. So this can sit here, that way anytime we need to use it, it's just a quick grab, kind of hands-free, just go, 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 done deal. And it actually worked out quite well. I gotta stop at the top here, I got a drawer wide open. Hey, no problem. Will you stay? <laughs> Van life problems! All you gotta do to solve this is shut it and make sure all these little buttons are pushed. Every day, you figure after all these years living in this van with that van build, I'd have mastered. Lock the doors, Chrome. So we started on the Cabot Trail yesterday, but yesterday was Emmy's filming day. Today is my filming day. And it's off to a pretty nice start here this morning. Uh, not windy. And I know you've heard me bring up wind in this subject on my videos a lot recently, but as soon as we arrived here in Nova Scotia, well, Cape Breton, the wind has been nonstop all day, every day. But it's calmed down the last few days. It's actually been pretty nice. It also feels nice to drive up this giant hill I'm going up right now because I haven't been on a mountain in a long time. This is legitimately the first mountain I've been on since I left British Columbia, and that's the truth. We are way up here, and it feels so good. I'm a big fan of mountains and water. Looks like we are just entering the Highlands National Park. Want to stop and grab some maps and stuff? Okay. I love having these radios. They're awesome. All right, so we made a little pit stop here at the park office. We didn't we didn't need to buy any park passes because we both have them, but I bought myself a, you know, Parks Canada hoodie. Eh? Hey? Looks good, right? Yeah. Check it out. It's got the flag on one side. It says Cape Breton on the other. I, ooh, feel that. Ooh, it's like a felty sort of. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, that feel good. Touch my beaver. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think this place is called the Highlands. Is that it? Yes. The Highlands National Park here on the Cabot Trail in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. That's a lot. Want to touch my beaver again? <laughs> it's a fuzzy beaver. Mm -hmm. to the beach so we just stop there we're gonna see the fishermen so we have to go there to see a small little fisherman in the beach. Right. change my footwear so we're doing a little walk here so to change my shoes can't exactly go for a little baby hike in sandals <laughs> Put some jello in there just because I made a cute girl out on the trail today. As I say, there was a lot of steps. It's stuff like this I wouldn't have done on my own. There's no way when I'm traveling I'm going to stop and climb to a lookout point when I can drive down the road and just drive to one. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely have noticed, and she's noticed the same thing too, that on our travels now we're out there doing more things by foot. Probably hence the 
you know, the belly lies. <laughs> but there's definitely been a lot more on-foot adventures, which has been great. It's kind of opened up a lot more opportunities on travels that I bypassed and missed before. How long have we been walking? Five minutes. Oh, really? Smart guy would build a pub right here. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go back and get the camera every time let's bring you along guys thank you <laughs> oh this was so worth the climb up here wow that's awesome so our vans are parked right down there we're right above the the park office I'm electrifying. Mm -hmm. Buying one of these annual park passes is a great idea because it gives you free access to all these parks and also other things too. Like there's some historic sites you can get free access to. Well, not quite free, you gotta pay for the pass, but still, you can get access to with one of these passes. Right there. Up here is the park office, so if you need to buy a pass, you just drive in through there and you can pay for it, but because we've already got park passes, we get to drive right by it. So many giant pebble beaches. Oh. Whoa, so far the Cabot Trail has not disappointed yet and we've just started. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sometimes out here you get the occasional wave that comes in a little hot and gets your feet wet out here. Like probably this one. Oh, damn. <laughs> the Atlantic Ocean out here is crystal clear. Whoa. Well, we're good. I don't know anywhere on the West Coast side in the Pacific Ocean that we have a place where the water looks like we're in the Caribbean. Like it's Caribbean Ocean. Look how clear this is. It's probably hard to see, but that water is, oh yeah, the camera doesn't show anything. It is super clear. Oh, damn, damn. What's going on up here? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, those are cool. <laughs> Not bad. That's yeah, pretty good. Make some oatmeal. I bought this oatmeal here, and uh, so far I haven't eaten it. I've been buying a lot of these stoked oats, but this one here has little bits of chocolate chips in it, and I seriously spent an hour the other day, spread throughout the day, shaking this bag, bringing all the chocolate chips to the top, just so I could eat them. How sad is that? <laughs> I can't keep snacks in my van because I completely will demolish them. Bag of chips in here, I don't care how big it is, Costco size bag, I'll smash the whole bag in a day. But, like, here you go. My inner fat kid will find any single way to find find things to snack on. Okay?
so good. Food and snack over there, and lucky I'm making oatmeal. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to eat the food in the snack. Because I would be eating the food in the snack. Oops, I made this towel over any. Oopsies! Look at your little paw prints, buddy. <laughs> Look at your little paw prints. The navigator. Mm -hmm. The map girl. I'll do exactly that. This guy's got everything in there. Are you excited, buddy? I bought myself another plate. We got another plate, bro. Looks just like our other one. Same. Oh, just about identical. There we go. Now, now we have plates for two. So we came by this guy's little. I don't see anyone. Like we're good. So we came by this guy's little tiny outdoor store. It's like his little garage. It was pretty cool. He had lots of stuff in there. And he was telling me that you can go fishing anywhere out here, no license needed at all, and that you could you could dig clams and stuff back there, and pretty much any of the locals out here, if they're fishermen or into seafood stuff, you could literally eat for free. <laughs> pretty sweet. This little mic thing was working out pretty awesome too. those there and we'll put the little feetsies in the sand oh that Atlantic Ocean is flipping cold ain't no swimming in that stuff man no way <laughs> when I was out here in 2019 it was uh, a really, really fast trip. I was running out of time, winter was coming, but it was also really cloudy when I was on the Cabot Trail and uh, super foggy at the higher elevations. And I missed out on seeing a lot of this stuff. So I remember coming through this very spot here and uh, there was someone that did uh, little tours out in the water, but it was too foggy to do anything. So it's cool when you get to come back to these places and really feel like you're traveling through them for the very first time. <laughs> 